did then, until he says anything. We're alive, I think. Hello guys, can you see me? I always ask you that. Let's see. All right. Let me make this bigger. And it probably can't go there. Okay guys, you know how this goes. You've got to give me like one minute to set it up, make sure that I can see you guys and everything is all good, right? You know how many of you it says are watching on my end? Nobody. So that's why. Okay. Give me one <laughs> second. Whatever. Okay. Anyhow. Guys, are you excited about our first giveaway ever? You guys are making history now. Well, you're making history for me because you are all here for the giveaway. So I just want to say hi to some of you that I can see. Hi, Mira Patel. How, hi, Tango the Crazy. Hi, Dog Lover 10. Ender Flight. Um, Connor Swain and Jesse Ramperson. So just got to say hi to some of you guys. And we are about to do our giveaway. Now, if you guys know, you'll remember from our giveaway video where I talked about these awesome tents. These tents were created by somebody named Hector and I actually have him here. So this is what all the technical stuff comes in. I'm going to have a chat with Hector right here live. So let's see if we can do that, all right? Hector, there you are. Hello, can you hello. hear me? Hector, why don't you tell us, um, why don't you tell us how you chose the winners or anything you want to tell us about your giveaway? Yes, hello everyone. It's really nice to see a lot of people joining into the giveaway. Um, the announcement actually. So it was a lot of fun for me to do this collaboration with um, Marlene. And um, I'm very humbled that she's uh, agreed to do this for me. And it was a lot of fun to see a lot of you participating in the giveaway and to, for us to be able to see the pictures for your babies and um, the stories and their names, it's always fun to see. And here in the background I have Mr. Austin, the umbrella cockatoo. He's freaking out a little bit. I guess we're all new um, doing this um, live type of event. So um, I really enjoyed reading all your comments. Um, a lot of you sent me a lot of direct messages. It was um, amazing to get a lot, a lot of the support and um, feedback that it got from you. So um, I'm just really, really happy with um, everything you guys have said to me and for liking Austin's page as well. Yeah. Um, as for, yeah. Tell us about Austin and how you got Austin. Yes, so actually I've had Austin for um, almost two years now and I actually adopted him, but uh, from directly from a family. Uh, what happened, they were taking really good care of him but they have a daughter with special needs and they could no longer take care of Austin. You know, birds, parrots, they need a lot of attention and they are basically cutless forever. So we need to make sure that we are giving them a lot of, um, you know, time and attention and just making sure that they are comfortable. So um, I found him online after I did a lot of research through the years because I knew that I wanted to have a bigger parrot as my pet. Uh, when I was little, I was always mm -hmm. around um, cockatiels and lovebirds, but uh, never really to like a parrot. So I really wanted to make sure I was ready for that commitment. 
and I did my own research for years and years, and I was finally able to, you know, notice that I was ready for that big commitment, and I was in a point in my life where I could do this, I could do that. So I found them, I called them, they still had a SIM, um, they are so responsible, so they wanted to have an interview with me prior to, you know, just going there and picking up the bird. We had a really good chemistry right away. Uh, Sim took me in, like, immediately. And um, so the very next day, he was actually here with me in my house, which is pretty amazing. I was freaking out because, you know, it's a big commitment. But I don't regret it. For, you know, I really don't have anything to regret. I love him so much. And it's just an adventure every single day with him. You want to say hi to everyone? Oh, my God, he's so cute. Wait, Hi, Austin. Hello. <laughs> wow, he's handsome. He's Austin. very handsome. You. Look at this is your moment. He's <laughs> <Please laughs> <Austin. laughs> <laughs> uh, an adventure. As I'm telling you, like um, every single day, he, he just makes me laugh, and he's just he loves for me to give him hugs and to cuddle. That's definitely his favorite thing, and. Mm, here's my baby. Um, hi. Oh my Thank god, to he's everyone. so cute. Hi. He recently started waving hi, so pretty much he's all day waving hi, so hopefully he'll do it at uh, some point in this video. <laughs> that would be so exciting. Look, Picasso. Look at that. Jersey, look at what it looks like when you would have feathers. Uh, huh? You want some feathers? I want to play with my earpiece. <laughs> so cute. <laughs> He's laughing! <laughs> Come on, baby. Ooh, you're beautiful. Handsome bird. Do you guys have any questions for um, for Hector and Austin before we get into the giveaway? Fire Belly Toad's looking for a shout out. How do you like that, guys? Uh, Brandy says, I don't know if you can see the chat, Hector, but they say hi. And I can see it. Oh, you see it? Okay. And let's see. They want to know how old Austin is. Okay. So actually, Austin is, um, when I got him, he was three years old. So right now he's um, a little bit over four years old. And um, I know his um, male umbrella talked to you because they had done the DNA testing when they got Austin. And they gave me all that paperwork. So, you know, he was really well taken care of uh, in a loving family. So, um, it all worked out perfectly. So, he's a little bit, he's still a baby. You know, well taken care of with a lot of, you know, good diet and exercise. They can live for a really long time. So, that's why it's very important for all of you guys, considering to get a pet parent as your companion, to do a lot of research to make sure that you are ready for this commitment because they can definitely outlive you. Um, you can read it, uh, and Marlene has already gave you a lot of this information on her videos, um, but they can get up to like 60, 70, 80 years with good, you know, um, diet and exercise. So it's a really big commitment, and, you know, they are wonderful, but they need to, you need to ensure that you can provide for them so that they are happy all the time, right, Austin? Yeah, um, Brandy Manley yeah, wants to um, know, where did Austin get his name? So, that's interesting, you know, um, basically, I could have totally changed his name once I got him, and I wasn't a lot of fun of that name at first, but that was his name, and I didn't really want it to, like, change that part of him, that part of his history, you know, mm -hmm. and I wanted to respect that as well. So I decided to keep, you know, his name, which is Austin, and my mom, <laughs> she's actually here visiting from Puerto Rico with my sister, um, she likes to call him Austin Bieber. <laughs> <laughs> and I think he loves it because he just laughs every single time and he starts doing his own thing, right? Right, Austin? <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Careful, baby. Hi, Austin, say hi. Oh my god! That's <laughs> yeah. amazing! And, um, no, Picasso, you might accidentally give away the winners if you jump on the wrong key. Um, <laughs> right? Uh, one thing, um, Alana Monique wants to know if Austin lives with any other birds. 
Right now he's my only child, but I am also looking into um, adopting an African Grey. So I am, you know, learning more and more every single day, making sure that I have the space and the appropriate cage and everything. <laughs> hi, you were saying hi. God, he's talking. That's so cute. And um, a few other comments you have here. Cameron Matharu wants to thank you. Uh, oh, wants to let you know that um, she follows you on Instagram. And you oh. follow her back, so she's excited <laughs> about that. And, oh, he, actually. And, um, yeah, let's see. Uh, hi, Jimmy D T V. And you've got a lot of comments saying that he's very handsome. And Peyton Wallace wants to know what does he eat? What does Austin eat? Well, I typically keep him in the um, uh, fruity type of um, <laughs> food from Supreme. He loves it. And although I've taken him to the vet just to make sure the wellness exam, the uh, uh, Avian vet actually ensured me that all of the different um, looks, they taste the same. He has a preference. <laughs> he has a preference for, for the violet ones. And that's... <laughs> well, you give me a second. I'm He's kind of waving! <laughs> hey, hi, Austin. Hi, Austin. So he would typically eat it in that order, like the, the purple ones first, which are, um, they look like um, grapes. And then he would eat the red and the, and, the, and the green. And he absolutely hates the rounded ones, which are um, orange. And apparently there's no distinction in color. I think it's just like he gets more motivated for the color of the actual fruity um, food. But aside from that, I give him vegetables uh, like uh, broccoli. He enjoys broccoli. He enjoys apples. I give him a lot of almonds every single day. He loves almonds. And he would love banana, but he doesn't like the texture. So he doesn't like to grab the banana. As long as I'm holding the banana, he would eat it, he would devour it. But if he, he's the one who has to hold it, that's not going to happen. Ty is like um, that. That's so. Now, is he... Okay, so um, see what he's doing with his beak right now? When my birds do that, it means they're thirsty. Does he do that a lot, or he's just something he likes to do? Is it because he's thirsty, or he just likes to do that? just likes to do that. That's what Actually, he does. Actually, when he's, like, happy, when he feels comfortable, he just likes doing that. Um, the doctor, the alien vet told me because I mentioned that to her at first and she said that sometimes birds like to breathe that way but there's nothing wrong with them. It's just like preference and I've seen other cockatoos do that but that doesn't mean in this Austin's case that he's thirsty. He's I so cute! <laughs> uh, cold water. Whenever I change his water, which I put like filtered water, um, coming out of the of the fridge, he just loves to drink a lot of cold water. Right, that's it. Isn't that right? Um, uh, yeah. You know what? My birds like some warm water. Jersey likes that I add some boiling water to it, and before she goes to bed, I put like her avicom in the water and the king's cages. Um, it's like pluck no more. And then since it's nice and warm, I know that she's getting the vitamins and the nutrients because she like sits there drinking it. Um, somebody, I saw this question and just give me a second and I'll find out because I, I know the cage that you have and somebody is asking, but I want to obviously give them a shout out for this question, but these things go so fast. Um, someone was asking about your cage and they wanted to know what brand your cage is. Now, if I'm looking at your cage correctly, it looks like that one cage on Amazon that's a very, very popular cage. Do you know what I'm talking about? You mean that cage over there? Yeah, that cage over there. I think we have the same one for Ty. And um, did you buy it off Amazon? No, actually, um, when I got Austin, I received every single item that um, they had for him, including the carrier, even like the sheets that they used to cover him at night, yeah. just so that the decision wouldn't be traumatic for him. Um, so I basically kept even some of the toys that he's had ever since, you know, he hatched. So um, 
that cage I got from the previous owners as well. So I haven't bought like a cage per se for him. Do you like it? Yes, I think it feels really comfortable. Mm -hmm. I'm actually thinking, uh, you know, in the near future to get a bigger cage for him. Mm -hmm. I think it would be uh, appropriate. And, um, but he's really comfortable in that um, current cage that he's in. He can move freely. He has a couple of ladders. He has his wood swing. He likes to hang in there all day. And um, so far, so good. I think he's really happy there. Right? I tell you why I asked specifically and why I like that question was because I know that cage that you have. And it's... um. It's a good cage and it's really popular because they've been able to make these cages for not very expensive. But I, if you guys look under in my description under this video, there's a link that says products I love and they're products on Amazon. And it's basically just like a list of things that I like. And I've been trying to put only things that have four star reviews just so that you guys can, you guys know that you can trust it. But I do like that cage, but I don't know, like, it's hard to find cages online with four-star reviews, and I think it's because of the assembly. I think it's really only the assembly. So if you guys have any recommendations or anything you want me to add to that list, or if you're just curious about things that I buy for my birds, go check out that list because there's a little description up top. So I put that on a lot of the items to let you guys know why I like a particular random item that might look random but like really helps me out. So um, yeah, you guys can check that out and I'm happy to see that Austin is happy in that cage because I've been debating putting that one on there too. So that is good. Okay. So, um, let's see, you have, a, you have a lot of questions, so I'm going to choose some more questions. And Perfect. Jesse Ramper said, wants to know, how big is your room for a bird? Is that, is that your bird's bedroom right there, or is that like your, your office? So actually, this is his room, and um, it's really big. You cannot tell with this camera, <clears throat> but this whole room is just for himself and his stuff and also i wanted to for him to have his own um kind of separate area in the house so that if you want to watch tv and it's late at night and they're already sleeping you don't want to bother them you need to make sure that they are getting their really good um sleep and so i just you know turn off the lights cover him he's private he's you know in his zone and he really feels a lot you know very safe here even though i keep his cage open <coughs> throughout the day and he come, definitely comes out and he likes to hang with us. Um, most of the time he won't even come out of this room. He would walk all the way to the opening here, but he wouldn't cross that line. I don't know if there's anything in particular he may be afraid of, but I think it's just his preference. And um, I would recommend that you have a separate area in your house to keep parrots, just so that, you know, you can uh, have a, a little bit of your own activities at night without bothering them a lot. Isn't that right? <laughs> oh my <Hello>. god. <laughs> Alicia Mohaba Lee wants to know what Austin does in his free time. Oh my god. He loves, he absolutely loves to be underneath his favorite blanket. Whenever I'm watching TV, he's a little bit afraid of the TV actually. So he doesn't like to be exposed to it. He's getting used to it now. So I have his a blanket and I cover, you know, he, he uh, snuggles underneath it against my chest and he could be there for hours and hours the whole day if I let him. But, you know, that's one of his favorite things. He likes to... <laughs> Hello? Hello? <laughs> oh my God, he's he saying hi to showers. us. Aside, um, I have like a harness for him to make sure that, you know, he's not going to fly away anywhere. I don't, I haven't um, clipped his wings. The previous owners did, but I don't, personally don't like to do that. But, you know, you need to be extra careful. Are you okay, baby? You need to be extra careful when you don't fit their wings because, you know, they can definitely fly away and, you know, there are other harms. Um, around the house, like if, if you're cooking, you need to make sure that they're, you know, nowhere near the stove, 
If you have a ceiling fans, make sure they're always turned off. If you're gonna open the door to the outside, you need to make sure where the bird's at every at every single time. So, you know, I I'm always aware and when my mom and my sister are around, they're always um, looking out for that as well. You wanna switch him? Maybe? It's so good. We're so lucky that we got to see him. Like talking and stuff. It's it's really exciting for us to meet another famous cockatoo now. So oh, thank you so much. And you know, sometimes whenever I try to do like a live video on Instagram, he gets shy, so he stops immediately whatever he's doing. So I'm enjoying this with all of you uh, um, as well because um, even though he he's like that all day, not in front of the camera. <laughs> oh my God! I just want to squeeze him and kiss him and love him. Oh, that's good. That's good that I have my jersey here to do that. Oh my God! So and I have to confess, I'm totally a sniffer as well. I oh, just can't get enough. <laughs> I got the best video the other day from. Uh, a sniffer named Trey who made me a video and was like, I'm a sniffer! And I was like, I love it. That should be like our motto. I'm a sniffer! It was so cute. So, yeah. Now, let's talk. So here we go. We're going to like talk about the giveaway now. I'm really excited, guys. This is my first giveaway ever. Um, so, this is going to be really exciting. And I will tell you before we do this that we're going to be doing another challenge next week for something else, so stay tuned. Now let's see, I already forgot, Hector, what all these pages look like, but here we are. This is the product. You guys know this is the tent. Hector, do you want to say anything about the tent before we do the giveaway? Sure. So for the tents, um, we before releasing them to Amazon and for you guys to be able to purchase it, we wanted to make sure they are the safest we could, you know, actually make them. So uh, there are no harmful materials. There are not, you know, um, we also put a little bit of like a platform inside the tent so that it, so that it gives a little bit of stability whenever the bird decides to go inside so that it doesn't like collapse on the bird. So it gives the structure for if you want to hang the tent inside the, the cage or if you just want to have it sitting on top of the cage. And um, you know, the plastic material, it's um, really strong. It would take a lot, I would say, for a small bird or a parrot to really like shoe into it. I'm not saying it's impossible. But, you know, we also try to come up with materials that would be strong enough so that it's durable. And it has, like, double lining. You can see the pretty, beautiful fabric, colorful outside. And it has um, a green fabric inside and also, like, the bottom piece that's line, like a lined um, type of um, support. And it's quilted, so it's. I, I, I'm get. I'm telling you, I would love to get inside one of these tents myself because they look so cozy and comfortable. We need and one of those. Birds love cozy and comfortable all the time. Now, before we do this giveaway, um, I just want to let everybody know I have the link below for if you didn't win and you want to support Hector and Austin and buy the tent. Um, you can have the link on Amazon. I want to tell you guys a few things as, um, as a buyer that you should know about the tent. These are for small birds right now. I don't want anyone to buy it. Oh my god! <laughs> That's, That's awesome! He landed on his cage. I don't want you guys to be surprised. <laughs> The size small, if you click on the link, is for really small birds like budgies. If you watch my video, you know this. And then the size large is really for small conures and birds like that. And cockatiels, I think, would do really well in them. So I just want you guys to know that. But Hector says that he will be coming out with larger tents. So even though it is says large, it's probably not large enough for your cockatoo. But your small birds will love it. If you saw the video of Mango, Mango was obsessed with it. And if you saw Cody, Cody was obsessed with it. So... so funny. Hilarious. I love Cody playing with the tents. Wasn't that funny? 
So please go and support your fellow parrot sniffer friends. And if you think your bird would be good with this, and even if you didn't win, you never know. We have so many other things you can win coming up, especially if this goes well. And if if I know that you guys are able to support Hector and really like his tents, then I will be doing some more giveaways because I know that we have some influence here. So with that being said, the winners are... Dun -dun 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 -dun. And the first winner is... By the way, Hector chose these, so he's going to tell you why he chose each winner. Here we go. The first winner is... <gasps> Lovey League. It looks like there are two little lovebirds here. Guys, is anybody... Can anybody... Are, is Lovey League on here right now? I would like to know that. That would entertain me so much if Lovey League is tuned in live. I guess we'll give a few minutes to figure that out. However, in the meantime... Hector, do you want to tell me why uh, you chose Lovey League as a winner? Well, first of all, I have to say thank you everyone for participating. But, you know, Lovey League, as soon as I saw this picture of these two beautiful lovebirds together, and um, their names are Peaches and Tangerine, they just, my heart just melted. They're so beautiful and so precious. And if I recall correctly, um, they are siblings that they've been together all the time. They enjoy, you know, being next to each other. Talking. Come on, Austin. So I wanted to, you know, just uh, give them the chance to have a, a, a cozy tent so that they could, you know, hopefully she can take more beautiful pictures like these and share with us all. Nice. Okay, so it doesn't look like... I haven't heard from Lovey League to know that Lovey League is on. Remember, guys, one of you is winning in the tent that Cody ate the tag. So I <laughs> forgot if that's a small tent. I think that's one of the small ones. So yeah. here we go. Small and the second winner is... Let's see who it is. <gasps> CC Cam 11. Oh, my God. Look at the little parakeet. CC Cam 11, are you tuned in right now? Well, let's hope that's how they are. And I chose this beautiful bird because it's just, you know, I got a little bit of the background story. Um, so the owner actually sent me uh, direct messages with a little bit of the background. His name, the name of the, of the bird is Cooper. And um, this is the first time Cooper stepped on the owner's hands. So I think that that picture is very precious because of that. And also because the owner told me that Cooper loves to hang in, the, in his sleeve. Um, so I said, what a better opportunity to give them the small tent so that the parakeet can, you know, enjoy the tent and have a cozy, comfortable place to play. Oh my god. Uh, Cameron Matharu says, yeah, that's me. I'm assuming she's referring to, <laughs> I think she's referring to the parakeet because it says CC Cam. So, yay, she gets to witness herself win live. That's so exciting. Oh, my God. Um, okay, before we go on and announce the final winner, I would like you to say how hard was it for you to make these decisions? Do you hear me? Oh, can you, can you say it one more time? We have it? one last winner. So, tell me how hard it was for you to decide between all these birds. It was very hard because all the pictures were so beautiful. Austin, give me a chance here. And, you know, they all have stories and they were all so much fun to watch. But then, you know, I felt like I had a little bit of a connection with these um, pictures and the owners and, you know, the stories behind. So it was really difficult. But, um, and I know that everyone wanted, wanted to win. But, you know, just because I couldn't pick every single person that participated. I put the items on sale, so both tents 
are a little bit discounted for a limited time and I have uh, limited stock available as well in, on Amazon. So I decided to drop the price a little bit to benefit all of um, you guys who participated but, you know, unfortunately couldn't win the giveaway. Okay, perfect. That's really exciting, guys. So if you heard correctly, if you did not win the tent, you have a chance now to go on, support, and buy the tent for a discounted price, which is pretty exciting. So go on. The link is below. And here we go. Let's go to our last winner. And the winner is... Hold on. Oh, my God. I'm so nervous. I'm so nervous. I'm going <laughs> to press it. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. Brandy 2001. Look at those birds. Oh my God. So tell us why you chose Brandy. And Brandy, tell me if you are on line right now watching this. There is a I mean, Brandy. I, I see a Brandy in the chat. I don't know if it's her. Uh oh, it's Brandy. She said those oh, are perfect. my babies. Oh, perfect. Congratulations, Brandy. That's I really love that you're exciting. online. I love that she's online too. Two out of three of our winners were online, it looks like. So I think that's, that's really amazing. exciting, right? Yeah. So congratulations to all of you guys. And I mean, there's not a lot to say here. Look at that picture. It's so beautiful. Their names, if I got them correctly, it's Finn and Penny. And, uh, oh my God, it's just like my heart melted right away when I saw this picture. And I love this pineapple come here. So I said, I have to give her the big tens. Hopefully, and I, I'm asking you guys to send me pictures once you get the tents because I just need to see that. Yeah, that's true, guys. When you get the tents or when you buy the tents, please hashtag um, Austin's Parrot Toy Kingdom and follow Austin the Umbrella Cockatoo on Instagram. You all better be following me on Instagram, too, and subscribe to my channel. Um, this giveaway was so much fun fun i loved it i have been this is my first time too like you know with this whole like moving different pages on youtube with my thing so i'm really excited and i want to thank hector for giving me the chance to do this giveaway i think that's this has been really fun and i've learned a lot it has been very fun and thank you marlene i feel honored that you responded to my request and that you decided to do all this for me. I really can't thank you enough. Mm -hmm. And I just love all your followers, your community, everything you do for the well-being of the Paris and for educating people out there to know exactly what it takes to take care of a bird, to take the commitment to own a Paris or rescue one, which is even more, you know, beautiful. So big shout out to you. Thank you so much for doing this for me and, you know, Thank you so much to everyone. Thank you, guys. Thank you, guys, for tuning in. Please go follow him. I want to let you guys know before we go that next week I am going to be doing another big, big giveaway. It's makeup product. I think you guys will like it. This is given to me by another fellow sniffer to give to you guys. And um, obviously all these giveaways uh give you some hints to get started you probably want to be subscribed and also follow me on instagram so half your homework is done and i think you guys will really like this because the giveaway is worth a lot of money i'm not kidding you it's she's giving away like fifteen hundred dollars worth of product so wow. tune in subscribe i think you guys will really really like it do not stop posting about these tents, everyone. You have got to go out and get one. I'm telling you, Mango loved it. If you watched the video, Cody's dying for one. And on that mm -hmm. note, Hector, how long do you think it'll be before you make some big ones? Because I hear some people on this chat already saying that their eclectus would like it too and such. Yes, so um, I'm really hoping we do well with this first badge of tents. You know, these are for smaller parrots. But, you know, hopefully we do well enough so that we can move on with the next phase of the bigger ones. Because we needed to make sure that it would be, you know, structurally sound to hold a heavier, you know, bird 
and you know heavier birds typically have bigger beaks so I need to make sure that it's safe and sound for them as well so you know it takes a little bit more research and work into that but hopefully we do well with these tents and we can right away move on with the next phase with the bigger ones uh it looks like we have a visitor hi baby are you coming to visit the live video hi so look at beautiful. you mr handsome surprise <laughs> look at you i know oh my god so, yeah, guys, you have a visitor. You have Rocky. I know you've been looking for Rocky for a while. Rocky, can you say, proud bird? Rocky, look, you want to see your fingers. You want to use Yeah, say, proud bird. Yeah. You're handsome. Are you my handsome? Can you Yeah. Well... That is it on that note, guys. You've seen Rocky, uh, Firebelly Toad, and everyone else. Wild Blossom says hi to Rocky. And um, that is it, guys. We are going to sign off so you guys can get on with your evening. Thank you so much for tuning in. I want to remind you to check out my favorite products on Amazon. And, of course, click on the link and go get your own tent at a discounted price. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Thank you, Hector. We love Thank this you, session. I had such a blast. Bye. And we made it happen. Thank you so much. Bye, yeah. everyone. Bye, Austin, ah. wherever you are. Ah. Almost getting ready to sleep. <laughs> it's time for Austin's bed. <laughs> Bye.